maintain your atmosphere. Be master of your own ship, your egg, your sphere of sensation. The more you got that, the more you're going to feel what's going on. Walk down the street, it don't feel right, put your hand back in the other hand. Intuition will know. Feeling is both energy, or fire, and water. You can feel the environment now. What's creating the environment is somewhat electricity or energy. It's moving the waters going in your body. You can you feel it, you sense it. The high priestess is silent too. It's all about being quiet. These are the cards you can print off. But that's the practice we've just done. You get an idea how it contains the exercise? Mm -hmm. If you know the exercise. It's actually written in a little book. The idea is that when you print them off in whatever form, you can just pull one out randomly. And one would hope that the right one will come. Then the book will guide you to the exercise, or it'll guide you to the ball, whatever way it goes. And you can continue on in an intuitive flow, creating its own harmonic, its own Tao. Yeah. Our fire. Remember that? The lettuce. The salad of existence. The crossover point of transmutation. The most alchemists I know don't know that. You do. But it's only of value if it's applied. If we put it to practice, then we'll know for ourselves. We all do that. But it's a law, it's a dynamic. It's how our body works, it's how everything works. If we work with it, it works with us. We're not going against the flow. You know what I do? Mm. Can you see that? That's the blowing and that's the spitting in the hands. Mm -hmm. And the last one for the day is a door. What you do with the door is you step through it. Yeah? We'll do more about ritual tomorrow. The door is the Hebrew letter Deleth, which means nothing to you at all. That's the Empress card. It was Venus, the, the woman pregnant with all potential. 
then on the Lord's Prayer, it's our daily bread, it's our practice. Yeah? So when we get proficient with this, then we create a door. Open it. Because it's a cross, you open it by the cross and take the step. It's a simple, silly exercise, but it's archetypal. There's a card in there that's got the brain with two hemispheres, the two hemispheres of the brain, and I superimpose over it, pi. I wind down the centre between the two hemispheres. <coughs> 22 archetypes surrounding it. The conscious mind, the dreamy mind. The archetypes acting it through both in harmony. Make sense? That's what we've been doing. So when we open the door, use belief to your advantage. So you've got something you want to work on, Something you want to move through, create the right gesture. Open the door. The left is four. Yeah. It's a cross four. Open it and step through. Step through into the new. Feel the new that you want. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Feel it. Do it as a, as a gesture. No one need to know. It's no one's business. And step through. That will impress the mind. It's archetypally sound. So it will impress the mind. But only you can do it. Yeah? So today, we end opening the door. Bring it with potential. The issue is fear. Mm. Fear is um, very much the, the home of the ego. It lives on fear. Mm. It brings in doubt. Mm. We'll do more with ritual tomorrow. A ritual is, is you contemplate what it is you're doing. Concentrate on what it is that you're doing. Mm. And then you must meditate or become totally absorbed with what you're doing. You're good at that. Mm. Yeah? So when you're opening the door and closing, you're totally absorbed in it. Mm. When you've closed the door, it's over. Mm. And that's, that's a big key. Most of us think we've got to keep doing it, keep doing it. If you do it and it's finished, then you don't do it again until it's next, the next time to eat it, the, the bread, yeah? Mm. That disciplines the mind and also <coughs> gives the, the doubts and the fear a place to rest, mm. yeah? I'm doing it at, at four o'clock every afternoon, whatever. If you can set, if it's possible to set a time close to the same time, every day, the mind really, it really likes discipline and time. Mm. So what you find is around, after that process has been set, it's has been set, then he'll come along and tell you mm. to do it. And you'll be, it's amazing, it just goes, you drop straight into the space, mm. the, the environment tends to create itself, and you're in there. While you're first developing that, at that particular time, like the doubts and the fears, there'll be a heap of shit that can come up and go, well, will you do this for me, or will that happen? And all this stuff comes to interfere. In meditation, in the early stages, the mind comes up with a thousand reasons why not to. You know that one? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. We all know that one. <laughs> and it's just a load of shit. <laughs> we probably all know that too. <laughs> but it's not until we discipline, practice long enough till the mind goes, oh shit, I'm not getting away with this. <laughs> then it goes, oh. Yeah? So if you use a, a mantra or with the Christos, when you're circulating the energy, the mind and the ego has got something to focus on. And while it's focused and disciplined, it's out of the way. And if it gets really focused and disciplined on it, it goes, oh shit, I'm sick of this. And it goes, Ooh. you're free. And generally, like, you know, the hour before dawn, is the, is the quietest or whatever, and then the birds start to mm -hmm. chirp, and you know, nature will show you the way. Yeah, just persist. The moment you think you're not there, the next breath you're there. And the moment you think you are there, you're thinking. <laughs> 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 That's such a shit, isn't it? <laughs>